On November 7, 2007, Queensboro Community College held a conference entitled What to Do if a Hate Crime is Committed in Your Community. What follows are powerful excerpts from the experiences and concerns expressed that day by both panelists and audience. We had a revolution go on in our country. Big revolution. You wouldn't call it a revolution, but let me tell you it was a revolution. It was the civil rights movement. And we had a general. His name was Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm glad the clarification was made regarding um, that all hate crimes are not violent crimes because they can be seemingly insignificant incidents as uh, being in a store and a security guard follows you around because you're black. When I was younger and uh, my immediate reaction was anger, I'd go to my father. My father would calm me down, my mother would calm me down. They are Christian, they beat me, left me unconscious on the street, on the sidewalk. They thought I am. Arab. I have a gay son and I love him and I will stand here and proudly say I love my gay son and when I said this one is gay the girl in the front of the room said faggot and the boy in the back of the room said shoot him I realized that one of the things that we have to do as educators is educate not only the youth and the leaders of tomorrow but educate the people around us one stand up to prejudice when you meet it personally and secondly we have to go into the schools and educate students. Most important thing is start at home, home, and that is where we have to take it from. Our country is a country, and we remain a country of immigrants. The New York City Police Department, if you report the crime, we're going to come and investigate it. If you have an issue with your status, whether or not you're, you're, you're here legally, I have never asked in 18 years a person, are they here legally? I don't care. By working collectively, we can ensure that the civil rights of our country has guaranteed are real and unalienable. When a hate crime occurs, unfortunately, the victim cannot change anything. They can't change the color of their skin or their religion. You can't run away from it. You can't protect yourself. You're exposed. There's no superior race in this state and in this county, OK? Nobody should beat anyone uh, because of the turban, because of the dress, religion. If, in fact, a hate crime is to take place in this county or any place in the state of New York, you should, pro you should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Because if it doesn't get reported, the resources don't go there. 